Hall is the first African-American golfer to call Ohio State home, and that's just a small footnote from Kevin's amazing story. He'll tee it up among some of the best golfers in the world when the Genesis Open begins on Thursday. I don't think Kevin would be where he is today if it wasn't for the education he got at St. Rita's. Kevin was two and a half years old when we found out he had H. flu meningitis. It, it was devastating. The medication they gave him to save his life, that was one of the side effects that could possibly happen. Taking his hearing, burning the hairs in his ears that carry the sounds and all of that. I want to go with that. <laughs> and for you. <laughs> I wanted him to go and get a good solid foundation in his education. We put him in public school. They weren't pushing him enough. My husband and I talked about it and I said, look, we have to go and visit St. Rita's. We're Baptist and, and uh, St. Rita's is Catholic. The values and the morals that we have as Baptists were the same as the school had as Catholic. Treating people the way you want to be treated. Being respectful of people regardless of who they are and what color they are. Those teachers were second to none. They were loving, compassionate. They were disciplinarians. They put expectations on the kids. He earned a full scholarship to Ohio State. He won the Big Ten Championship by 11 strokes in college. He immediately went into becoming a pro after he graduated. I'm still amazed at what Kevin can do and not here.